Hi, I'm Lisa Leiter. In Chicago Business Today, the Michelin winners. After months of rumors and buzz, the official list of star winners from the first ever Michelin Guide Chicago are out. And as expected, Chicago has two three-star restaurants, L2O and Alinea. We caught up with Alinea executive chef Grant Ackett's this morning, and here's what he had to say about his three-star status. We push ourselves every day, and we're really striving to be the best. This is for us. This is an affirmation. This is a confirmation that we are, in fact, one of the elite restaurants in the world. There are only 91 other restaurants in the world with three-star ratings, the highest honor given by the guide, and indicating exceptional cuisine worth a, quote, special trip. Three restaurants receive two Michelin stars, Avenues at the Peninsula Hotel, Charlie Trotter's, and Rhea at the Elysian Hotel, meaning they have, quote, excellent cooking and are worth a detour. Eighteen other Chicago area restaurants earned one Michelin star, a very good restaurant in its category. Boca, Bon Soiree, and Crofton on Wells are on that list, along with Graham Elliott, Schwa, and V. V executive chef Paul Verant tells me he and his entire staff are thrilled to be in, quote, such stellar company. So who did not make the star list? Arun's, Le Nomad, and Avec are among some of the names expected that didn't make it. The Michelin winners were announced a day ahead of schedule because someone yesterday posted the winners on the online review site Yelp, claiming to have a copy of the guide before anyone else. Today I sat down with Jean-Luc Naré, director of the Michelin Guides, and here's what he had to say about the leak. It's like quite a surprise for us, like everybody else, when we, we look at these things on, on the Alp. Um, we don't know if it's a book, we don't know if it's only a list, we don't know if it's a page. Um, obviously, our, our people are trying to research that. The chef were very happy that we called them this morning, uh, very happy that actually they received a call from me, because I know it's uh, whatever has been written in the press or whatever they actually are. Um, they say that call is the most important thing for us, and that we only believe when we receive that call from you. Chicago joins New York and San Francisco as the third U.S. city to have an annual Michelin Guide. Nore says Chicago chefs are among the world's most creative. Chicago's got a great diversity of restaurants. I mean, you have incredible, creative, avant-garde chefs, uh, either at three-star level or one-star level. And uh, that's really the top of the year uh, of the selection. And you have, on the, other, on the other side, incredible small places who really deserve to be recognized for good food, great pizzas, great hot dogs, great breakfast. Last week, Michelin also announced 46 Chicago restaurants that received its Bib Gourmand status, those restaurants defined as a good value. Top Chef winner Stephanie Izzard's Girl and the Goat made that list, along with Rick Bayless's Frontera Grill. Also, the Purple Pig is on that list as well. For complete lists of all the winners, be sure to check out chicagobusiness.com. And that's this edition of Chicago Business Today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.